This is the Valley Today. Hi everyone, good morning. Thank you so much for waking up and joining us right here on the Valley today. It is 6 a.m. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Alex Larson, and we have meteorologist Lisa Green here with mm -hmm. us this morning. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. It's a big day. It is a big day. <laughs> big day. Getting into the 70s today. Mm -hmm. We've got some really nice weather ahead. Just watch out for the wind, you know, but we're used to that around here, sure. right? No big deal. Yeah. Uh, but we do have some wind in the forecast for today. And then after that comes the rain. So today is the day to enjoy before yeah. we are kind of of stuck in the gloom and you know it's going to be a pretty decent uh, morning as you step out the door right now you can see beautiful start in Fargo hitting the roads you shouldn't have too many problems especially in the morning hours here we're giving it a one out of five on that tough travel scale meaning we've got some good conditions coming up here and breezy weather will be developing as the morning goes on so this morning it's not that strong yet but heading into perhaps that nine o'clock hour we start to see that wind pick up those gusts get a little bit stronger here uh, but overall the morning drive looking pretty good Most most areas on the dry side. You see we do have a few more clouds in the south and there's this little line of showers on the radar from around Valley City and then stretching back through southeastern North Dakota down towards Sisseton. This is just migrating eastward and as it does so we'll just see maybe a few light showers or a sprinkle or two and that's about it as that moves through here this morning. Looking at our wind, it is out of the southeast. We do now have a gust to 24 miles per hour in Fergus Falls. That's the first gust of the morning and uh, we'll likely again see more of that as the day progresses. So on our Fargo sky cam looking pretty, but you can see those clouds overhead. We're at 52 degrees in Fargo, a cooler 38 in Grand Forks. So some range of temperatures going on here, but in general, this is a pretty warm compared to yesterday morning's start. You may notice that but windy weather will be with us through the day today. We'll see the wind really pick up by mid morning and then continue on throughout the day and into tonight. Temperatures rising with it too, with partly cloudy skies by lunchtime, upper 60s. Then into the afternoon, some low to mid 70s, mostly cloudy. And again, some wind in the forecast here for today. So let's talk about what we've got coming up here today. Next 24 hours, windy and warm. Uh, we're really going to see those temperatures soar as we head into the weekend. We'll have that chance for that rain starting up perhaps even late tonight and continuing on into Friday all the way through Sunday, maybe even lingering into Monday. And then next week, warmer weather returns and we'll see some 70s perhaps in the forecast as well. So some ups and downs, but all really good things when we think about it. We could use the moisture. So we'll talk more about the timing of that and how much rain we'll see coming up in just a couple of minutes. And you know, at least the rain hitting on the weekend means we can stay inside. <laughs> there you go. You know, make it a, a Netflix weekend. Make it a yeah. weekend to do some spring cleaning inside. You know, all those things that you have an excuse to yep. not be out and about. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Lisa. Now on to a VNL investigation. A warrant has been issued for a business owner accused of running illegal dispensaries in South Fargo. A warrant was issued Monday for 29 year old Robert Lee Beretta. The two charges against him so far are both felonies leading a criminal association and conspiracy to possess with intent to manufacture slash deliver marijuana. On June 27th, 2023, a search warrant was served at 5171 51st Avenue South, Unit 103 in Fargo in the area of audio garage and Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch. The court documents state based on the evidence collected, including marijuana, THC, syrup and wax, pre-rolled blunts, gummies and vape cartridges. It was determined the tenants were operating a marijuana dispensary. Two employees reportedly told the investigators that Beretta owns a tax service business called Northern Star Taxes here on 13th Avenue South. This is near Olive Garden. That's where they say Beretta launders money. In court documents, an employee tells investigators when the shop on 51st Avenue was done selling marijuana for the day, they would take the cash on over to Northern Star Taxes and put the money into a safe. A search of the tax service in July of 2023, revealing 280 grams of THC wax and a THC vape cart. More information will be available once the warrant against Beretta is served. We'll keep you up to date on air and online on your VNL News app. You can download and use it for free. Just search VNL News in the App Store. And we're tracking some breaking news for you this morning. A cra car crashed into a tree along 71st Avenue South and University Drive a couple of hours ago. No word at this point what caused that crash, but you can see the damage left behind here in this video. Stick with us as we learn more on this story throughout the morning.
And crews in West Fargo were also busy this morning responding to this crash on your screen. This one happened at Main Avenue East and 17th Street East just after 1.30 this morning. It was initially reported that this person crashed into a traffic light in that area. We'll work to get more information on this crash for you this morning as well. A Grand Forks man is facing an attempted murder charge after an altercation at his workplace. Alexander Antonio Thompson is charged with attempted murder and aggravated assault. According to court records, police were called because he was reportedly on top of a co-worker with his hands around another man's neck, and the man was having a hard time breathing. The two men were separated, but Thompson attacked the man again, wrapping an extension cord around his neck. The victim started to go unconscious, and witnesses heard Thompson say, I'm going to kill you. The victim suffered a fractured collarbone and fractured rib. A woman is accused of injuring several police officers while getting arrested at an apartment building in Fargo. Robin Anderson now facing a long list of charges, including three counts of simple assault of a peace officer, one count of terrorizing, preventing arrest, and domestic violence. Court documents say officers responded to an apartment where Anderson was screaming and fighting with a man. She also reportedly ran through the apartment hallways with a steak knife. The man involved has scratches, bruises, and bite marks. Three officers were also hurt in the process of her arrest. We have new information in the case of a man who was beaten in downtown Fargo earlier this month. Three people have now been identified in the incident. Travis Ledoux, he's up on your screen, is charged with aggravated assault. Court documents say a fight broke out just after 2 a.m. on Saturday, April 6. Someone tried to break it up, but several more people showed up and started kicking and punching both men. Police say the victims were left with serious injuries. A warrant has been issued for the arrest of Terrell Smith. And charges are expected against Angelica Hernandez for being an accomplice. Fargo police are trying to figure out who defaced a mural on the side of Bernie's Wines and Liquors. It shows a woman's name and reads, she took advantage of a disabled person. The mural was painted by local artist Anna Johnson. This was back in the summer of 2022. She will be fixing the mural in the coming weeks, but Bernie's has contacted police about the situation. They ask anyone at home if you have any information to please come forward. Today, the city of Fargo is hosting an open house and public input opportunity to discuss proposed updates to the city's laws on noise control and amplified sound. Open house attendees will be able to participate in a discussion and share feedback on the proposed updates. This feedback will be incorporated into the ordinance revision and shared with the city commission for its future consideration. The open house is happening tonight from 6 to 730 in the city commission chambers at Fargo City Hall. All residents, including downtown Fargo commercial and residential property owners, as well as tenants and licensed food and beverage operators, are all invited to provide input on the proposed updates. Happening today, Moorhead Public Service and the Moorhead Fire Department will be conducting emergency response training simulating a chemical leak. The training exercise is part of MPS's ongoing commitment to ensuring the highest levels of safety preparedness. A key component of the exercise will be a series of practice responses by the Moorhead Fire Department's HAZMAT team. The first set of training is expected to start up at 9 this morning. The second is going to be held tomorrow, also at 9 in the morning. Both sessions should last around two hours. Still to come here on the Valley today, the community coming together to honor a teacher and young mother gone too soon. But next, meteorologist Lisa Green's in with weather to plan the day.